Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I would like to call to order the Water Commission of the Formal Housing Authority. Ms. Gallagher, would you call the roll, please? Chairman Aguiar. Here. Vice Chairman Underhill. Here. Commissioner Burns. Here. Commissioner Sahadi. Here. Commissioner Tasha. Here. Attorney Sousa, do you have the open meeting law statement, please? I do, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. The language for the open meeting law is as follows. First one to the open meeting law. Any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Okay. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings are, or transmissions are being made whether perceived or unperceived by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. Thank you. Before we begin our agenda items, we have uh, first uh, order of business is citizens input, which is a period of time where citizens of Fall River who have a statement or concerns about the Housing Authority that they would like to elaborate on or express to the board will be allowed three minutes to do so. That is for citizens, not for residents, because the second one is for residents' concerns. So if you don't mind, I'd like to leave the first one for citizens' input. Is there anyone at this time who has any citizens' input that they'd like to address to the board? Hearing none, we'll move on. Residents' concerns. Are there any residents' concerns? Any residents or residents' representatives that at this time want to address the board? Seeing none, we'll move on. Mr. I'm sorry. Chairman, if I may just make a comment. Yes. Uh, I would uh, like to note for the residents, uh, we do have our various directors here and personnel, so if you do have any specific concerns you'd like to talk in private, please, after the meeting, feel free to come up and, and uh, we'll get those addressed for you. Thank you. Thank you. First item on the agenda is the recommended to accept the minutes of our regular meeting, which was held on February 10th. Motion to accept. Motion Second. has been made. Second. Second. Any questions or discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed, none. Those of communication, vouchers. We have the vouchers. Uh, does anyone have any questions or concerns about the vouchers? Hearing none, is there a motion to accept? Motion to accept. Motion made? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, none. Okay, report of the secretary. We have six reports here. There are the management reports, which include the applications, occupancy report, tenants uh, accounts receivable, work order report, and monthly section eight voucher activity report, and the monthly personnel count. Um, Mr. Barrows, do you have anything that with these reports that you want to uh, bring before the board? Uh, yes, thank you. I, I just want to uh, re-emphasize for another month our occupancy level is exceedingly high. We're at 98%. For the year, we're at 97.2%, so we're really, really doing well in that area. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about the work orders tonight and what we've done to change those and improve on completing those and tracking them. And for that, I'd like the uh, director of facilities to address the report tonight and share uh, his thoughts on it with the board. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Barrow. So um, we have a spreadsheet here of work order activity for all our sites throughout the development. Um, Kathleen Pova um, puts a very detailed report together. Um, and it breaks down work orders that were called in, uh, work order completion, um, unit turnover work orders. And our in internal goal is to have all work orders completed um, at an 80% or higher level, meaning that for every 10 work orders that are called in, they're immediately um, completed uh, sent into our work order department and the work order clerk closes it out in the system. So eight, uh, to maintain that 80%. On this spreadsheet, many of our sites were in the 90%. 
is a couple that are a little bit lower. But there are factors that, that bring the percentage uh, down when we have a vacancy unit um, that requires extraordinary maintenance and some of our trades that drags it out a little bit longer so the work order remains open. Um, if a resident calls in a work order, for example, uh, a broken window, uh, not the glass, but uh, one of the mechanisms and it requires a special pot to be ordered, that could take uh, some time for that water to come in and for the uh, maintenance or trades person to go and complete the work order. So uh, it's just a snapshot. Uh, internal goals, 80% or higher, 20 days or less. Vacancy turnover is 30 days or less, and that's a, a HUD and DHCD uh, standard. So um, we've been doing well with the uh, vacancy uh, turnover, uh, moving those days quicker, and also on the uh, work order completion, uh, getting those completed in a timely fashion. Kevin, could you spend a few minutes with the board and maybe go back a year prior to you becoming the director of facilities, what the status of work orders were at that time, what the status of the work order types was, and the changes you've implemented to get us to this point? Sure. So uh, initially, our uh, work order system, we had about uh, 22 to 28 different categories that work orders would be called uh, called in under, and we reduced that to six categories. Uh, routine uh, work orders, which maintenance will do on a <coughs> weekly basis, um, clean community halls, pick, pick papers, pick trash, rake leaves, routine stuff. We have another category is emergencies. Uh, a resident calls in, uh, smoke detector not working, gas leak, uh, there's a whole variety of what constitutes uh, an emergency. Um, we have annual inspection work orders when the managers and clerks go out uh, annually and do inspections of the unit. Uh, whatever they find during their inspection, that would uh, generate a work, on, work order under annual uh, inspections. And then we have requested which if a resident has a, a light out in their kitchen, the resident would call the management office requesting a work order to have their light uh, repaired or replaced. So that's really um, unclogged the system, so to speak, and reduced the work orders. It, it, the system uh, flows much better now with, the, with just the six categories, and when we were audited by both um, HUD and DHCD, they were very happy with, uh, with the, the improvements and the changes that we made. And thus, I think it's, it's paid off on the percentage of completion of work orders. Which was very low about a year ago, right? Yeah. Fast improvements. Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Badella. Anyone else? Do any of the commissions have any questions or discussion regarding any of these reports? Hearing none, is there a motion to accept? Motion to accept. Motion made? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed, none. Financial reports. This is the monthly financial report. Ms. Mello, do you have information for the board? I do, yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, so our uh, financial results for the month and the year to date um, continue to trend positively in our federal programs. Um, we're, you know, finishing out and rounding out in the winter season and we've seen some savings from the um, lack of overtime related to snow removal. Um, so we're realizing savings in that particular area. Um, our state program continues to run at a deficit um, as we've discussed in the past, um, you know, our Maple Gardens. Uh, site has um, incurred some extraordinary maintenance costs that we're um, working through at this time. Um, and any of the additional surpluses in the uh, federal program, um, pro programs, <coughs> excuse me, um, will be used to sort of replenish our reserves that um, um, will kick in at the end of this, this fiscal year. Um, other than, otherwise there aren't any um, 
significant items to note, but if anybody has any questions, um, Anyone have any questions for Ms. Mello? Hearing none, is there a motion to accept Ms. Mello's report? Motion. Second. Motion made. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. The next item is the uh, fiscal year ending 2019 audit report. Is that you, Tim, or Ms. Mello? Uh, that would be Melissa. I, I can discuss that. Okay. So the board uh, should all have a copy of the audit report for the fiscal year okay. ending March 31st, 2019. Um, the audit was completed at the end of the fall and um, everything ran very smoothly. The staff was able to turn around the requests um, timely and there weren't any issues in, with the audit um, in terms of timing. Um, I'm also happy to report that there were no findings in the audit, so no deficiencies um, were noted. Um, and we recommend that they just be approved. <laughs> and just one note I have on that. Yes. Um, we have looked at our cash, the trend in our cash over the last two years. Uh, and this is our unrestricted cash. It has uh, decreased overall from 12.2 million to 11.2 million. And that's a result of the maintenance expenditures that uh, have been incurred uh, on federal sites as well as our state sites. And uh, we also have funded our OPEB trust. So we still have that money, but it is restricted for payment of the retiree health benefits. So, so we're keeping our, an eye on that. And uh, we're sure when we end this year, that will be an increase given our levels of occupancy. So um, we are maintaining an eye on that. Thank you. Any other commissioners have any questions? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve the audit report? Motion to approve. Motion made. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, none. Item three, the insurance policies for the period of 4120 to 33121. These are insurance policies for public officials insurance, property insurance, liability insurance, and automobile insurance. Anyone have any questions or comments? Yeah, we have the, Melissa has the, uh, the renewal amounts. Um, we did go out competitively. Uh, I believe though we only had our, our current carriers responding? Correct, we did go out to seek competitive bids with three other vendors. Um, the feedback that we received, two of them declined to bid, um, and then we had one who just wasn't able to get a timely bid into us. Um, but essentially, the feedback that we received was that it, this is just a, a very tough industry, and it's viewed as a high-risk, um, you know, business. And so uh, there are not many carriers that are willing to um, continue to write this type of business. Um, so our current provider is um, focused and is um, primarily insuring housing authorities across the country and so that's their market and, and I think that's why we get favorable rates with them. Okay. Any questions? Uh, motion to approve the uh, proposal for insurance. Motion to approve. Motion made. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? None. Next item on the agenda is update to the board from our executive director. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I've um, presented a report of various items that have been undertaken by the staff this month. Uh, you know, ranges from different social programs to uh, doing some staff training. Um, we begin. The director of management began meetings on taking the census, assisting with the. Uh, the city's efforts. Um, I think, though, the focus, at least of late, has been um, on the COVID-19 issue. Uh, we spent a lot of time um, working on that issue, addressing the concerns of employees and uh, staff uh, and the residents, uh, especially here at the elderly sites. Uh, today, uh, I established a COVID preventive or response task force of myself and several other senior staff and line staff to 
uh, come up with things we can do to uh, encourage uh, preventative measures, if you will. And uh, what I'd like to do is read a memo that I distributed to the employees this morning on actions we will be taking as a, as a preventive measure or a, a response. I don't think we're in personally here in a response mode, more of a preventative measure mode. So let me read this for you, please. Uh, this morning I established a COVID-19 preventive task force. With COVID-19, it is critically important to stress the need to increase the level of social distancing from one another, to use common etiquette such as coughing or sneezing into one's sleeve, the frequent washing of hands, and staying home when ill. These simple steps will help deter this virus's spread. At this morning's meeting, we discussed many items and issues. Several measures will begin immediately. Others are still in the consideration for implementation. Those measures to begin immediately, including the previously announced cancellation of attending non-essential employee seminars and trainings are, one, all non-essential resident activities events taking place in Fall River housing community rooms or on-site in common areas are canceled and are not to be rescheduled until further notice. This includes resident initiated gatherings, parties, bingo events, concerts, and the Easter egg hunt. Some sites have scheduled alcohol anonymous meetings, which at this time may continue since they are considered a valuable health service. Two, employee staff meetings should be minimized in frequency and size. Three, maintenance will increase using available resources for cleaning and sanitizing our elderly site common areas, door handles, elevators, railings, tables, picnic, public, excuse me, public bathrooms, as the elderly residents have the highest risk of developing a critical illness from COVID-19. Four, we're gonna make sure that all our information is distributed bilingual. Also, the directors of facilities, director of operations, and director of leased housing will be examining their operational routines to determine what other helpful measures may be undertaken. These might include closing of community rooms, increasing signage, closing our waiting lists, reducing applicant group sizes for orientations, and so on. The situation will be continue to be monitored as uh, the situation progresses for further action. So, you know, some of these uh, will be an inconvenience and, uh, you know, those, uh, that's kind of the, the worth, I think, for the public safety, the health and safety, especially of our senior citizens. So uh, we'll continue to monitor the situation and make changes as, as are needed. So with that, if there's any other questions, um, I'd be happy to answer the chat. Any questions for our executive director? Out of order, but sure. Uh, in reference to the COVID-19, mm -hmm. I believe we do have some uh, receptacles for the uh, hand wash, the uh, for germ killing germs, but they're never full, and that might be something to consider at least at the entrance to this building so that people can use it coming and going? Uh, you're absolutely correct, and that's actually, we talked about making sure that gets done. Okay. I so maintenance will be addressing that. No, okay, no. thank you. Well taken, and yes, thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? There are a motion to accept the executive director's report. Motion to accept. Motion made. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Post done. Under new business, modernization. Director of Modernization, monthly report. Mr. Anderson. Yep. Thank you, Chairman. Um, my name is Arthur Anderson. Uh, I've got uh, several projects I just wanted to share with you that we're currently working on uh, throughout the uh, authority. Uh, the first item is going to be the uh, Maple Gardens uh, kitchen and flooring renovation project. It uh, involves uh, 12 units that were uh, rehabbing the, uh, the flooring and also brand new kitchens for those units. Another area of the Maple Gardens uh, complex that we're working on is a common area improvement. Uh, we're basically going in and upgrading the entrances to uh, two of the buildings uh, in an effort to, to bring them up to uh, date. Uh, we have an ongoing project with the uh, Sunset Hills developments. It's referred to as the laundry room conversion. 
We're actually uh, installing 12 washers and dryers in that facility for use by the, uh, the tenants. That project is approximately 85% complete, and we expect to be completed in about uh, four weeks. Uh, we've submitted for uh, bids uh, the Sunset Hills uh, Phase 3 roof replacement. We're anticipating uh, replacing two new roofs on the apartment buildings, a roof on the small cottage building, and also a roof on the administration building this year. Um, the, we've had the pre-bid meeting, and we're anticipating the bids due back on the 19th of this month. We have a project that's in process right now at the Cardinal Madeiras Towers. It's an AC in the community hall. The contractor has been mobilized. They've installed several of the uh, AC units in the hall. They're currently uh, working on installing some large ductwork in the upper ceiling area. And uh, we're uh, waiting uh, shop drawings for the new storefront entry into that area. We received bids on the uh, Cardinal Madeiras um, elevator modernization project. Basically, it's an uh, upgrade of uh, two elevator cabs that are currently out of service at the moment. And we're going to um, discuss this later on this evening in, uh, with the board. Uh, we did receive five bids for that particular project. And we have identified a low bidder for that. And it will be discussed later in this, this meeting. Uh, the last item I have is uh, we're looking at a new video security system for the dual apartments. We're working with a designer right now. We're about 65% complete on the design. Uh, we're anticipating that um, uh, we're evaluating the technology right at the moment. We're anticipating that we're going to be able to use a wireless technology. Uh, this particular technology is currently used at the uh, Burlington Mall to uh, uh, use their security cameras through several buildings without trenching underground and things like that. So we think this is going to be a uh, good application for this site. So that's what I have for this evening. Thank you, sir. Anyone have any questions for Mr. Anderson? Hearing none, is there a motion to accept the modernization report? Motion to accept. Second. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, none. Item B, contract award for elevator modernization at Cardinal Madeiras Towers. Recommended action to award a contract to the low bidder, Coletta Con Contracting Company Incorporated in the amount of $1,165,800. Mr. Arthur Kevin, would you like to address that? Yes. Um, this is a... Uh, an upgrade to the uh, elevator cabs number one and two. We did receive five bids uh, on this particular project, and uh, Coletta Contracting was the low bidder uh, for this, and um, we're recommending approval of this uh, contract. Mr. Anderson, will that re are those for new elevators or to repair and renovate the ones that are existing now? Repair and renovate the ones that are existing. So those are not for new elevators. When this is done, how many working elevators do you anticipate will be available there? Four. There'll be four. Okay. Can you just expand, though, on the terms repair and renovate? I mean, this is a complete rebuild overhaul, I believe. For this uh, elevator system, yes. yeah, they're going in new new controllers at the upper level to control the elevators. New um, concrete work up at the uh, the tower section of the elevators, like that. How about the caps? The caps are going to be upgraded. I think they're going to reuse the, the structural frames. They're okay. going to be upgraded uh, internally with uh, the doors will be new, and the doors will be upgraded right. Now. And they go to zero, they go from zero to 60 and out quick? Well, I don't know how fast they go. Let <laughs> me keep it slow to start. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Motion to award the contract? Motion to award the contract. Motion made? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. The next item, uh, my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Mr. Barrows, uh, this item you're requesting to be withdrawn because we are currently uh, in discussion with DHCD that is correct. to get additional money other than the 89000 
and maybe be able to renovate more apartments than we anticipated. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, the, yeah, there's two things we're working on. Uh, as you just suggested, obtaining more funds to do the necessary work or coming up with an item that would fit into this 89000 So for purposes of that, we're withdrawing this uh, this evening. Okay. I make a motion we withdraw this item. Okay, the motion was made to withdraw the item regarding the change order, item C. Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, none. And, and if, I'm sorry, I should have said this before, but just for clarification, I don't want you to think this is a change order in the terms of, you know, we wanted to do uh, 12 items and now the contractor has come back and says, well, that's going to cost you more. Uh, in essence, we wanted to add items ourselves, and we thought 89 would be within the limit, the 25% change order, but it came in at a couple hundred thousand. And we're doing this at the direction of DHCD. So um, they have said, okay, we're going to go back and see maybe what they can do for 89. Um, but we're also putting together through this gateway grant, you'll be seeing later, addressing 30 other apartments, but we still strongly feel that we need the funds from DACD to do all the kitchen and baths, which would be the 200,000. Um, so. Okay. And you'll keep us informed. Oh, then. without a doubt. Okay. <clears throat> Item D, permission to advertise for bids for exterior building envelope repairs phase two at Bates Tower Apartments. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Motion second. made and second. Any questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, none. Commission to advertise for bids for grant writing services. Um, Mr. Chairman, if I may, what we're uh, seeking approval from the board to do is to advertise for services of a grant writer. Uh, I know the city had a grant writer uh, in the last year or so. Uh, we were fortunate enough to obtain uh, the services of that grant writer for a couple weeks, which is part of the uh, proposal going forward to DHCD for a great gateway grant. Uh, we've, we've talked to him on the site about other things he thought were opportunistic for a Fall River housing, and he was pointing to Maple Gardens that he could possibly put together a grant for a couple hundred thousand in playground equipment. So I said, you know, that's a great idea. So let me talk to the board about going out for a contract for a year. Uh, <coughs> we're anticipating it would cost no more than if I just threw out $20,000. Um, and we would have the services for a full year. So as other things came up, uh, we would apply for it. Uh, obviously, at the end of the year, if, if we didn't find it beneficial, then we would not uh, continue the services for another year. So. For that reason, we're uh, seeking permission to advertise and uh, see what we can do with that. One, one okay. question: Just what are the playground dance? items? What any other items off the, off the cuff? I know you know mm -hmm. that that you, we can be applying for things that we can help. I just, oh, just for my specific items. I, I don't need a specific. Just yeah, you know, well, okay. some, there, some There's a Job Plus grant that HUD does annually. Uh, we actually contract with a grant writer just for that. Uh, that's like 1.7 million. Yeah. There could be additional security grants. That's what I was thinking. Security. Um, yeah. There's there's a host host of things that are available. Okay. Uh, a lot of these, though, uh, again, they require the presence of a 501c3 corporation, which currently we would have to go through the joint tenant council if they establish that, or um, you know maybe in the future we can establish our own nonprofit um, mm -hmm. strictly to get receive grants or apply for. But th there's a host of items, and that will be open for discussion as yeah. as the year goes on, what we think we should be applying for. Perfect. Thank yeah. you. Did, did you say you had somebody in mind for this position? Uh, the Who I had in mind is the person who helped write the Gateway Grant. Okay. But I've indicated to them that I have to go out and solicit prices. Yeah. Anyone else? Hearing none. There is a motion to uh, advertise. Mm -hmm. Motion to advertise. Second. 
Motion made. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Miscellaneous. Trash collection contract extensions recommended that we approve the extension of the current contract with Republic Services for three months from June 30th to September 30th of 2020. Would you like to hear from our... Uh, I was going to ask why for three months, yeah. Yes, is uh, Tim McCoy... Tim, there you are. Mr. Chairman, thanks. Justice. Good evening, commissioners, residents. Um, as you know, this type of contract uh, can be a logistical nightmare. We have approximately 80 cans throughout the authority, ranging from six yarders to two yarders. We probably have another, I'd say, 15 to 18 cans that are specially formulated to, to attach to compactors, another 25 totes in the uh, Corky Road townhouses, and my experience from three years ago, um, you, you know, having it done at the end of uh, June where you have personnel issues potentially with both the vendor and the authority, typically surrounding vacations, the end of school and whatnot, um, I approached the executive director uh, saying that I think it would be in our best interest and in the interest of our residents and just general sanitation and public health because as you know this is a a massive uh, swap out even if we're in the uh, with the same vendor we typically get newer um, cans and other <coughs> containers and whatnot so in my opinion uh, it would be uh, better timing to have this done at the end of September as opposed to the end of June when you're dealing and I understand with the illnesses right now and things being in, in flux I mean we don't necessarily know what's going to happen but typically the third week of June, public schools are getting out, vacation season ramps up. And it's not just us that are affected. Obviously, Republic ends up with folks uh, or whoever the potential bidder is. In this case, the current contract holder, you have drivers on vacation, right. other personnel on vacation, administrators on, on vacation. So I just thought it was wise. Um, again, it's a big undertaking no matter when you do it, but I thought it would be wiser to do this in the fall once the uh, children are back in school and yet before it's, you know, cold yeah. and, it's, you know, the yeah, weather becomes sense. an additional issue. Makes sense, huh? Any other questions? Is there a motion to extend the contract? Motion to extend. Motion made. Second. And second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Madam B. Mission to advertise for a five-year contract for trash hauling. Mr. Chair, if I can be recognized. Yes, please. Thanks again. Uh, as you are well aware, um, 30B uh, has a three-year limit on contracts, and then you're advised to go to your government uh, governing body. Uh, HUD is at five years, uh, but we, again, we recognize the stricter, stricter standard when we're in conflict. So I would like to, become, again, going to the fact that this is a large undertaking, and I'm hoping the increased time would actually afford uh, better pricing uh, uh, to the authority because we're making a longer commitment uh, with the vendor. So I think obviously I'm going to be going out anyway. I figured it'd be a good time to pair the two agenda items and ask for the request to go to the uh, to go to the five years to be in compliance with Mass General Law 30B. Thank you. Any questions for Mr. McCoy? Motion to advertise. Motion to advertise. Second. Motion made. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Amendment to the Gateway Grant application uh, to add 39 vacant units for modernization. It's recommended that we approve a total grant application amount of Three million two hundred sixty-six thousand two hundred and twenty-three dollars. This is what you were referring to earlier. That's correct. The original grant, which you approved last meeting, uh, only contained the completion of site work underground site work utilities. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in speaking with DACD, they suggested that we amend it to include those vacant units. There's actually thirty-three other vacants, and then I'm projecting. One unit per month will be unable to be rehabbed without extensive costs. I've just projected that, so I'm using 39. 
And again, uh, DHD can approve the grant request in full or in part. It's at their discretion. Any questions? Motion to approve the amendment? So moved. Motion made? Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, none. <clears throat> Barber Housing Authority Energy Saving Bonds. Recommended action is permission to proceed with refinancing of the bonds. What is that about? So we have uh, remaining 5.9 million in bonds that we used to refinance some energy saving projects four years ago. Uh, we replaced the furnaces in Sunset Hill, a lot of lighting, we upgraded uh, water. Uh, distribution systems in the buildings. And uh, as a result of the current crisis, economic crisis, interest rates have fallen precipitously. So our current rate is 3.99%. Uh, I contacted the bond underwriters. They gave me an estimate right now of what's going on in the market at 2.5%, which would save about 550,000 over our remaining 14 years. So, um, approval to go forward with this tonight. Uh, there's a resolution to adopt. Uh, there is a 100% uh, uh, option for us to back out for any reason. Um, that we have the right, we have the sole and absolute discretion to among other things, never issue the bonds, to only issue a portion of them to restrict the proceeds, uh, to delay in indefinitely the issuance of the refinance, or, or to cancel it. So, so this is a non-binding to the authority, but it is the authorization that the company needs to go forward and uh, get the wheels turning. And, and I'll be hopeful, though, by the April meeting, you'll be, I'll be presenting a resolution for the actual adoption of the refunding. Any questions for Mr. Barrows? Hearing that, is there a motion to proceed with the refinancing of the bonds? Motion to proceed. Motion made? Second. And second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, none. Personnel. Assistant Director of Lease Housing, the Lease Housing Division and the Assistant Director of Leased Housing Services Division recommended that we approve the position descriptions, which we have. Yes, now we talked about this last month as far as uh, our need to reorganize the Section 8 department, so we've uh, developed the job descriptions uh, of the two uh, Assistant Director positions. So we're asking for approval of these descriptions tonight. We're in, uh, we've had talks with the union and we'll be working with them as far as the actual transition of advertising of the positions. Uh, and in closed session tonight, we'll be discussing that a little more deeply because it does involve uh, the union contract language. So right now we're just looking for permission to, uh, from the board to approve the actual positions. Job, job positions. There'll be no one in them at this point. Any questions? Discussion? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve the job description? Mr. Chairman, I formally make a motion to reclassify the director of field operations okay. position. Okay. Not now. Well, oh, that's, that's the next one. That's the next one. I re withdraw that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pay no attention to the guy with the tie. <laughs> Is there a motion to approve, approve the position? The job description. Motion to approve. Motion made. Second. And second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, none. Item B. Temporary reclassification of positions. Recommended action is to approve the reclassification of the Director of Field Operations to 
Deputy Executive Director of Field Operations to L and Lease Housing. Uh, Mr. Chair, if I may, I'd like to amend that uh, as far as what I'm recommending to the board is we rename the position just Temporary Director of Field <coughs> Operations and Leased Housing. Uh, I don't think we need to add in the, uh, the title of uh, Deputy Executive Director of both. So uh, I'd like to make that a little more uh, confined. And, and let me just explain to that. Uh, the reason I want to do this is we've, we've come up with a reorganization for the department now that everybody uh, in management is on board, uh, feeling really good at that it's going to correct what's going on there. Um, so I, I guess, so I need someone now to look at the procedures and the policies that are being administered and taking place in the department now and how we can apply those or revamped ones to the new structure. It's, it's akin to having a, a brand new 737 airplane. You've got the new model, you've got the crew and the pilot, but you still have to upgrade the software. And Kathy Povar is, is a professional uh, person who is very keen in analyzing the nuances of the department, the processes, the various skill sets, and coming up with an efficient and effective way to get the work done. So this is a temporary assignment for her, um, in addition to her current duties. And then once we are um, all set and the plane is flying, if you can, we don't, we can put it on autopilot, hopefully, uh, Kathy would be returning to her current role. 737, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one they have the problem. Yeah, we need the software, I know. They don't have a software. <laughs> I understand. Uh, just, just to clear up any, uh, any misconceptions, sure. the new uh, recommendation will be to approve the reclassification of the Director of Field Operations um, to the dire uh, Director of Field Operations and Leased Housing. Is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I now want to formally make a motion to reclassify the Director of Field Operations position to Director of Field Operations and Leased Housing. Any questions or discussion? Do I hear a motion to, to accept? Motion to accept. Motion made. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, none. The last two items are on our agenda uh, <coughs> deal with closed session. One deals with union issues and negotiations, and the other one deals with uh, negotiations of our executive director's uh, salary. So um, I feel that it would be detrimental to the Housing Authority to discuss this in open session. Tenny Souza, would you please read the, uh, it's the board section that deals with? Sure, thank you, Mr. Chair. So it's the board's intent to take these last two items and bring them into executive session? Yes. Okay, so the first one would be to, discru to discuss strategy under MGL Chapter 30A, Section 21A3. Uh, to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigation or litigating position of a public body. And the chair so declares. Mm -hmm. And the second action would be anticipated executive session under tw uh, 30A, section 21A2, to conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiations with non union personnel. And the, and the chairman so declares. Thank you. Is there a motion to go into executive session for these two items? Motion to go in executive session. Motion made. Second. Second. Ms. Gallagher, would you call the roll, please? Commissioner Underhill? Yes. Commissioner Burns? Yes. Commissioner Salati? Yes. Commissioner Tasha? Yes. Chairman Yes. The board will go into executive session. Following the exe executive session, we'll return to our regular session. Uh, okay, is there a motion to go back to regular session? I make a motion we go back to regular session. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Being no other business to come before the Housing Authority this evening, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion to adjourn is made, seconded. All in favor? Aye. All opposed, so voted.
Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.